You know, it's been about three years since I actually last played League of Legends, and all throughout my absence, none of the new content has really given me that urge to drag my mouse over the reinstall button for just one more hit. But then Riot recently added a fresh new lolly champion to the mix, and just like a recovering heroin addict who swore to never use again, here I am with a needle in my arm and a warm, fuzzy feeling in the bottom of my heart. Now, before anyone makes any lollycon comments, I would like to emphasize the fact that despite appearances, the lore specifically says that she's a millennia-old space goddess, okay? So, I mean, you know, when you look at it that way, it's really not that bad of a thing if I maybe want to put my... Oh, no. Ah, shit, that is not a good sound. Okay, listen up, viewer, I don't got much time left, so let's go ahead and cut to the chase, yeah? Zoe's a new champion, and I'm still the best League player to ever grace this godforsaken Earth. So pull out a pen and paper, take my word as gospel, and prepare to be as enlightened as the last panel of a brain expansion meme. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is How To. As Zoe, you have only one objective. Be as annoying as humanly possible at all times. Good news is you've got a fantastic kit to do just that. Bad news is sometimes your kit doesn't really work. Your E is a skill shot sleep that doesn't lose any distance while traveling through walls, giving it extremely good range and versatility. This is your bread and butter, the very foundation of what makes Zoe such a good champion. But there's one little problem. The game doesn't seem to understand what the hell a wall is. Nine times out of 10, you won't have any issues. Issues, but there are instances that'll leave you scratching your head wondering, why are parts of this wall not a wall? How is this somehow not a wall? Oh yeah, that Zoe up there is looking dead to me. Oh, well, never mind. Guess not. Nah, that's cool, right? Now this right here is what I like to call wall fuckery, an unfortunate factor of life that 100% of Zoe players must face on a daily basis. Feels excruciatingly bad, man. When the game does feel like cooperating and grants you permission to land your E, that's when you can go in for the buku damage. If the enemy does fall asleep, they're almost certainly going to die. Which does make sense. I mean, I'm no Sun Tzu or anything, but you probably shouldn't be falling asleep in the middle of a battlefield. That just doesn't seem like a very great tactic. Oh, check out this guy over here. Lee Sin, more like being this bad is a sin. Oh, no, 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 look at this one. Malphite, more like mal-blight to society because you'll never amount to anything just like your father. Ooh, is that niddly? More like fucking idiot. If you're playing Zoe correctly, your score should look a little something like this, and your opponent's will to live should look a little something like this. You know what they say, if your champion has any CC abilities at all, then they're automatically a viable support. Another dead noob. Couldn't have said it better myself, Zoe. Let's flip the script for a moment. Here's a great tip for playing against Zoe. Don't be like this literally three-year-old Janna player over here. Work on developing some object permanent skills. If a Zoe happens to be fucking with you and randomly walks into the jungle, they're not getting golems. They're setting up to come down upon you with the wrath of a thousand nuclear warheads. Do not let this happen to you. That's right, Tristana. Walk on up to this wall, nothing bad's gonna- Oh god, it was a setup, get me out of here, get me out- Oh fuck, I clammed up, I clammed up. Uh, by the way, fun fact, your ultimate always returns you to where you started. That is important to keep in mind. So yeah, that's basically how to Zoe. Put people to sleep, blow them up with your Q, and always strive to be the most annoying motherfucker to ever enter the rift. Also, before you ask, no, you don't need the epic gamer skin that I have, but trust me, it certainly helps. The only thing more tilting than getting killed by Zoe is getting killed by Leet Forte Epic Wins Discord loading screen meme spouting Zoe. Now then, if you'd excuse me, I have to go appear in front of some judge for some 
I don't know, accusations or whatever. You know how it is. Uh, make sure to leave lots of comments down below saying which champion I should play next, assuming I don't go to prison, and I just might pick your suggestion. Okay, then. Goodbye.